1975, Muhammad Ali was at the height of his powers. A media sensation who lived up to his nickname of the greatest. Ali had proved the world wrong for the second time with his sensational victory over the seemingly unbeatable George Foreman in the Rumble in the Jungle in Zaire. In his second defence of his second reign, he agreed to square off against Ron Lau, a man who just years before had been serving prison time for second degree murder and had been the most feared man in Colorado State Penitentiary. Ron Lau was one guy who could hit you so hard it didn't hurt. No one else did. Big Ron Lau was arguably the most fearsome contender in the 1970s. Born in Dayton, Ohio, February 12, 1941, he was involved in trouble from the start. In 1961, he was convicted of the shooting of Douglas Baird. Lau claimed self-defense and got off with second-degree murder. However, it was while in prison for 15 to 25 years that Lau turned his life around, learning to box in Colorado. Standing 6'3 and weighing between 200 and 220 pounds of pure muscle, Lau looked terrifying and in the ring he backed it up. He was renowned for his exceptional punch power in both hands. He was an aggressive fighter who constantly pressed forward, applying relentless pressure on his opponent, often forcing them on the defensive. He also had a strong and effective jab, which he used to control the distance and set up his power punches. He was also skilled at body punching, regularly battering the body of his foes. Unlike most bullies in the ring though, Lau also had a cracking chin and a never say die attitude. While being an offensive powerhouse, Lau's aggressive style sometimes left him vulnerable defensively. This characteristic added an element of excitement to his fights as opponents had the opportunities to capitalise on the openings. Helped establish Lau as one of the most fearsome contenders in the business and earned him a shot at the heavyweight champion of the world, Muhammad Ali. The bout took place on May 16th, 1975, in Las Vegas, Nevada. Could Ali defeat the fearsome Lau? The early rounds were marked by intense exchanges, with both Ali and Lau landing powerful punches. Lau's aggressive style and heavy blows tested Ali, who in turn showcased his elusive footwork and counter-punching. The middle round saw both fighters having moments of success. Lau continued to press forward with aggression, while Ali utilised his boxing IQ and ring craft to navigate the exchanges. As the fight progressed, both fighters showed signs of fatigue. In the 11th round, Ali mounted a significant offensive surge, landing a series of powerful punches that ultimately led the referee to stopping the fight. Despite the loss, Ron Lau's performance earned him the respect of the boxing world. The fight is remembered for its back and forth action and the incredible heart and determination displayed by both fighters. Ali's second reign would continue on, while Lau was involved in one of the most savage heavyweight fights in history against the equally fearsome, equally big hitting George Foreman. But that's a story for another day, fight fans. Like and subscribe.